the arc subclass specializing in damage output jolting targets and regenerating abilities at high speeds these arc builds for each class are must-haves in your arsenal let's dive in starting with the arc hunter we're going to take one of the best exotics for this class assassin's cowl and have what can be argued as some of the best survivability in the game equip the gathering storm super gambler's dodge combination blow and pulse grenades for our aspects go with lethal current and flow state resistance ions magnitude and feedback will be our fragments allowing us to build in survivability melees and creating ionic traces from jolted targets if you keep the gameplay loop of dodging near enemies for powered melee and then defeating enemies with that powered melee to refresh your dodge you will never run out of invis and survivability for stat distribution focus on resilience being at 100 then mobility and finally discipline you could also swap out mobility for recovery if you choose to do so. For weaponry, Volt Shot weapons, or even Cold Heart works well. For the energy slot, a one-two punch shotgun could also pair nicely with this, but use what you feel comfortable with. Moving on to our mods, equip hands-on for your helmet and whatever else you choose, either ammo finders or siphons. The gauntlets will have heavy-handed and impact induction. Our chest will have resistance mods pertaining to whatever you think will benefit you the most in your activity. The legs will be weapon surges to best assist with your heavy weapon of choice. Our class item will have a time dilation for the surges, a bomber, and a reaper. Arc Warlocks, not known for their high damage output, but their ad clearing abilities and ridiculous ability regen. Taking the Fallen Sunstar Exotic and pairing it with an Ionic Trace build, you are set for destruction. Ads will never know what hit them. Chaos Reach for the Super, then Healing Rift, Ball Lightning, and Pulse Grenades. Pair this with Arc Soul and Electrostatic Mind aspects to pump out Ionic Traces. Add in Shock, Discharge, Beacons, and Magnitude to further increase the amount of Ionic Traces. Focus into Resilience and Recovery for stats, then Discipline. For weapons, Cold Heart is a phenomenal choice in the energy slot, and you could pair with weapons around that to enhance this build further. Mods will start with Ashes to Asset, Harmonic Siphon, and Heavy Ammo Finder for our helmet, then Firepower and Momentum Transfer on the Gauntlets. Chests will again be Resistance Mods to fit the activity. Absolution, Recuperation, and Better Already on the Legs, and Reaper, Bomber, and Outreach on the class item. The Arc Titan, a hard-hitting and powerful class with tons of ability regeneration through the tried and true exotic, Heart of Inmost Light. Thunder Crash, a Barricade, Thunderclap, Pulse Grenades. Knockout and Touch of Thunder paired with Shock, Ions, Feedback, and Resistance, for damage resist and ionic trace generation for more ability spam resilience as always recovery and discipline or strength for stat distribution again cold heart could be a juicer for ionic traces than whichever other weapons you like harmonic siphon hands on and ashes to asset for the helmet firepower plus heavy handed on the gauntlets and resistances for the chest surges for your heavy on the legs and then finish it off with bomber outreach and reaper you now have three incredible arc builds in your arsenal use them as you see fit have fun and be sure to come back for the rest of the subclasses because we will be covering every subclass leading up to final shape thank you for watching make sure to leave a like and subscription if you so please it helps me out a ton check out my live streams and short form videos on twitch and tiktok so you can tell me what's better than these or what's wrong with them i'll see you all again very soon peace